What's going on YouTube? Gravesender here, and welcome back for episode number five. Um, today, uh, today we're going to be doing some maintenance and uh, maybe some light, uh, light uh, traffic management, if you will. So, to uh, to show you what I mean by that, um, there's a reason why we are in this area. What I uh, thought about doing is making this main street here that separates the two neighborhoods come all the way out here and make it a um, on and off ramp so if you wanted to leave the city or uh, move into the city you uh, you can do that by using the um, the on and off ramp right here but I haven't a uh, hundred percent decided yet for, uh, for that, we are going to need a little bit of money, I believe, to make uh, some decent on and off ramps. I mean, we have the money now, but we'll, uh, we'll hang out. I'm just going to give that a little bit more thought. What I did do off camera, let me show you before we begin, is I added trees, as I uh, promised I would, and I added them to the both sides of the neighborhood. So we have some trees here. I also added in this uh, pathway right next to the, uh, the main avenue. And we kind of just followed, uh, followed the avenue. So now if, you draw, uh, if you're driving through the city, you have a lot, of, uh, a lot of tree views, a lot of shade. Some black ice because of the shade. And I pretty much filled everything in, as I said I would. If you remember when we left off in the last episode, there was nothing here. I did end up adding the ice skating rink right next to the high school itself. I just add a little bit more trees right there. And then one more thing that I did, and I'll just show you really quickly before we begin is a small park right here to make uh, to make these guys a little bit happier and as you can see some of them are already upgrading their houses but we are um, a little bit short on budget so budget overview 52 uh, actually 53,000 in the bank 7600 incoming which isn't bad at all we do have 6400 residents in our town we have a small demand for residential that is mainly because we have just zoned this whole area with residential. I'm pretty sure that's going to spike up pretty quickly. Um, medium demand for commercial and the medium demand for residential. Another thing that I thought about doing is starting because um, you can see we are having some traffic back up here, which for now isn't bad. But we are going to have to think of a uh, think of a way to solve this issue. Um, I think that I made a mistake by uh, only placing three tiles here in the beginning. I think when we expand, we're going to have four tiles going up this way like so. And then we can curve it out this way once we, of course, get to uh, get to that area. And I do like that we have five tiles of gap right here. So we'll leave the main road, but the highway here will um, will connect every five tiles. So maybe even if we go one, two, three, four, five. So if we stop right here, we make another connection. And then from here, we maybe start curving out this way. And move into the uh, the next tile, which is right there. But we'll uh, we'll see how that develops. For now, I think I am going to add this connection right here, and I'm gonna play with this. I will build something off camera, and I will be back in just a moment to show you what I've done. Alright guys, I am back, and man, this took some time to build. Let me uh, show you what I've done. I will uh, start with some small stuff. For the future, I have built a pathway 
that goes across the, uh, is it a river? Yeah, let's call it a river. It's a river. That's going to go into uh, this uh, area over here. As you can see, we have yellow snow. Remember, don't eat the yellow snow. Uh, but this is going to be our farming area. Now, I also thought because we do have some forestry here as well, that we're going to make this a little bit of a forestry industry as well. Of course, at a later time. But the pathway here, just a reminder for me to come back to it at a, little, at a later date. Going around to where I said I was going to make a highway connection, here's what I came up with. I thought it turned out pretty nice. So essentially if you're uh, coming down from this way, you hop on the uh, the on-ramp or off-ramp, come around the roundabout, the oval roundabout, and get into the city. Same thing if you're coming from this side, and then if you're exiting on either uh, either side, you have an option. And there's a couple of cars uh, already using it. I will show you real quick. So you see the date down there is uh, 0110-2020. I think we started at uh, like 00503-2020. So in realistic uh, terms, this project took about 10 months or no seven months seven months to build but if you're uh, if you think about it in real life highways and ex um, and the roads take a take a long time to build really one of the main reasons why it took so long is because I kept running out of money and I was wasting money trying to build uh, build everything playing with some ideas this, that, and the other. All right, let's come around to the big change. I'm sure you can see it, but this took the longest. All right, let me show this to you and explain uh, what's going on. So I did about five different types of interchanges here, and I like this one the most. What I did is I went up by two, so you know when you're pushing the uh, the button to uh, to make a bridge. So you, I pushed that twice. So this is double the uh, the height. I think it looks pretty cool, especially with the snowfall going on. And on either side, I have a roundabout. Now this one, of course, is busier because you have the industrial section here but also the off-ramp to either go into the city or into the industrial so this one's always going to be a little bit busier you have the on-ramp here and you would proceed to uh to the other identical interchange that i built five blocks apart or i'm sorry six point two yeah, that's exactly what it uh, what it came out to. So you remember I had a uh, road right here where this uh, road with trees is. So I had to remove that road, expand it one more block for this um, this interchange over here to fit. I haven't built one of these before, so I'm not sure exactly if this is going to be uh, efficient. But I guess only time will tell. But I do like how it looks. And then also what I did is I continued the expansion over here. So remember I told you the highway was going to uh, curve. So it is going to curve up this way. And then when we buy that tile over there, we're going to work on the uh, the bridge and things of the like. So what do you guys think? You think this is a uh, good idea? Do you think I could have done better? Anything uh, you think that I should change? Let me know in the comments below.
And remember, this area in the future is going to be gone. All right, and also we did end up hitting a milestone while uh, while I was building everything. That milestone is the big town milestone. So at this point, we have unlocked a new area. Taxation policies, level five unique buildings, metro, leisure specialization, which we are going to be using, education boost as a policy, a bunch of... Uh, high density policies as well and speaking of high density we have residential commercial and offices which is uh, office zones are gonna help us clean up our town from pollution since we have a lot of it right now metro station which we are gonna be using at a later date or a later point as well incineration plant university prison sauna and faculty so now that we have the uh, university unlocked what i thought might be a good idea is to build a university central to the two exactly alike interchanges so i'm gonna work on a layout for this real quick and i will be back all right guys, I am back, and what do you think? I think it turned out pretty nice. Sorry about that abrupt cut uh, before uh, before this scene here. I hit the, uh, the stop recording button just a little bit too early. Still learning, right? Amateur YouTuber problems. But, um... Let me, uh, let me show you or uh, go into detail what, uh, what I did here. So, the university itself is there. What I did is I made a two-lane square, just like so. Just by two units, so let's call it a rectangle then. And then this right here is a one-way. One-way street coming around and looping to the, uh, the other side of the rectangle. And then we have our very first metro station. Now this, uh, this station is not active, but uh, it will be in the future. It will bring all of the students to the university. I also built a couple of parks on either side, very symmetrical. I have some right over here, a couple of plazas actually, and then um, the ice sculpture park, two of them back to back with some pathways and trees in the middle one thing I forgot to show you is here I added a, um, a stadium I think that's uh, that's what that's called let's see real quick Bantam Football Park is what it uh, is what it is. So the thought behind it is it's uh, it's got the river here. I thought it would be really nice that uh, let's say when it stops snowing and there's a football game going on, you can come out here and watch the game. I thought that turned out pretty nice. And then the other thing is if you recall. We had a square of neighborhood or houses, residential, right here. I did remove that, and the reason I removed it is because uh, when I was playing around with different kinds of um, on and off ramps, I was uh, constantly running into it. And then turns out I built an interchange that uh, that didn't really affect it. So that is uh, that is gone as well. And let's see, I think that's a uh, that's everything. I added a uh, road here, just uh, before the uh, before the previous cutscene. And here we're gonna expand our commercial. And then over here, this other area on this side, 
this is all going to be residential. So I haven't, um, I haven't quite figured out exactly how I'm going to put the commercial here. But what I will do is make it just a little bit different than this one. So maybe some diagonal lines or something like that to make it look a little bit more unique. All right, guys, I am back and check it out. So I decided to stay with the more simple layout and I just in a way copied this neighborhood over here. It's so like the roads stop before they hit the main road so there's no um, too many intersections if you will. I made this pathway that goes alongside the, uh, the two lane road all the way up into the commercial area. And my thoughts are for the commercial area that we're going to put some high density commercial right here in the center and everything else is going to be just a regular commercial. We are, um, we're hurting for residents. We're actually starting to lose residents as for how long we have not zoned anything. So hopefully that didn't uh, make a permanent problem, which I don't think it did. So let's zone some residential. And this is all going to be low density residential, by the way. So we can make a park here and the park there. And now we get to zone. water, which we don't. speed and our other landfill is full so let's go ahead and start emptying that we are going to need to add an additional incinerator and that we can put right there we are going to need one more just cluster them all together and we are broke again so because we pray it placed uh, three incinerators our budget did take a big dump and it's still going down so we're under 5,000 now we do have some trash problems though so hopefully the uh, the trash trucks, there they are, there they all go. We're gonna make it over there before those buildings become abandoned. Like these ones right here, but I'm sure these ones are abandoned because of the shortage of workers. Because we didn't have enough residents. So we will go ahead and zone just a little bit more. decided yet what I want to put on either one of these entrances like a park or a plaza or something more uh, wintry
fire pit park costs four thousand. Why don't we do that? I know those are, yeah, gonna start complaining about power, but why water? I thought we had, oh, well, we don't. Okay. We do it now. We are gonna need to think about putting in some services over here as well. I think we should be okay to zone some high density here, here, and here. That's going to be all low density. It's going to help us transfer power. residential I think that should be good enough. Man, we got uh, a lot done this episode. So we went ahead and we placed the new interchanges, which seem to be working excellent. We built a university, so our citizens are now gonna be well-educated. We added another residential district as well as commercial. We introduced high density commercial for the first time in this episode. We added an additional highway interchange, which is still not as popular as I thought it would be at, uh, at the very least. We built a football field. And I think that's all for now. All in all, I know this episode might be about 30 minutes or so, but this um, this has taken me about two days to put together one because I'm, uh, I'm busy, I'm working, and two, because I just took a long time to decide how I wanted to build these two right here. Alright guys, but there you have it. Thank you for watching. Please give this episode a like if you liked it. And subscribe if you want to follow the series. Comment in the uh, comment box below. And we will see you.
for the next episode. Have a good time.